Hello guys, welcome back to Autonomy Knowledge Hub. I am Vishal. In this lecture, I am going to explain about the operators in C Sharp. An operator is a special symbol using which we can perform mathematical and logical operations on operands. An operand is a variable or a value on which the operation is performed using an operator. For example, addition of two numbers is one of the most common operation. In the statement 5 plus 8, the plus is an operator and 5 and 8 are operands. Here are some of the most common categories of operators. First is arithmetic operator, second are assignment operators, third one is relational operators and fourth one is logical operators. Now let's take a look at some of the most common operators that we use from each category. For arithmetic operators we have addition, subtraction, multiplication and the division. Now, Let's switch to the studio and see these operators in action. Let's write a simple code for addition of two numbers. Let's say var a equals 2 plus 3 and let's print this result on the console using console.write line passing the variable a. Now let's save this program and let's run this program using the keyboard shortcut control and f5 and see the output. Nice, it prints the addition of two, number, two numbers that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 on the console. Now let's do the same for other three operations like subtraction, multiplication and the division. So where s equals 10 minus 3, let's print the same on the console, console dot right line passing the variable s. I'll just copy this code and we'll do the, we'll do the same for multiplication saying var m equals 10 into 3 and pass the variable m here and let's do the same for division saying var p equals 10 divided by 2 and let's pass the variable d let's save this program and run the program again using control and f5 and see the output great printed the values of all operations on the console. After the arithmetic operators, we have another set of most commonly used operators in assignment category. The first one is a simple assignment. It assign values from right hand operand to the left hand operand. So in this case, the addition of x plus y will be assigned to the z variable. The second one is the add and assign. This operator adds right operand to the left operand and assigns output to the left operand. Another is a subtract and assign which uh, subtracts right operand from the left operand and assigns output to the left operand. Similarly multiple and assign and this operator multiplies right operand to the left and assign output to the left operand. And last one is a div divide and assign which divides left operand with right and assign output to the left operand. Let's switch to Visual Studio again. Here I have created two simple variables and assigned them different values before the each operation. Let's save this program and let's run this program again using Ctrl and F5 and check the output. So as you can see x plus equals y is equal to 12 then x minus equals y is equal to 6 then in multiplication is 60 and division is 3. So what's happening here? When you write x plus equals y that means x is equal to x plus y. So the short form that is x plus equals y is a short form of this expression. Similarly, for x minus equals y, it, it writes x equals to x minus y. Similarly, for multiplication, x is equal to x multiplied by y and for division, x is equal to x divided by y. For relation operators, there are some operators which are mostly used. First is greater than operator, second is less than third is greater than or equal to operator and fourth is less than or equal to here I have declared three variables and assigned them the values that is 10, 20 and again 10 respectively and I have used the greater than, less than, the greater than and equal to and less than equal to operator on each condition. Let's save this program and run it to see the output. As you can see it printed that g is greater than e 
as a value of g is 20 and the value of e is 10. Similarly, g is less than uh, sorry e is less than g because e is 10 and g is 20. Makes sense. Third is e is greater than and equal to h. That means the value of e is 10 and the value of h is 10. So it is either greater or than or equal to h. And the last is e is less than or equal to h because the value of e is 10 and the value of h is 10. And for the last category, which is the logical operators, we have the logical and, logical or, and the logical not. If in the logical and, if both operands are true or non zero, then the condition becomes true. In logical or, if any one of the operand is true or non zero, then the condition becomes true. And in the logical not, when we use the logical not, it reverses the logical condition of its operand. So here in this case, I have declared another two variables and assigned the boolean values that is true and false respectively. And for the first operator, I have used the logical line. For the second condition, I have used logical or and for third, I have used logical not. So basically, the result of the first console or right line statement should be false because the value of k is true and value of q is false. But for the second right line statement, it should be true as one of the value that is value of k is true. And for the third, which is a logical not operator, which reverses the logical condition of that operand, that is uh, not k equals uh, as it is the value true, then it should be false. Let's save this program and run again. So as we can see, it has printed false for the first statement, true for the second, and false for the third. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the content of this video helpful, please like this video and share it with your other friends. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the notification whenever I upload new video.